Roll BBC Two now. It's a battle of the brains as Corpus Christi Oxford versus Jesus College Cambridge and University Challenge. Should Britain keep its nuclear weapons system? That's the question MPs will vote on this evening. The UK has four Trident submarines. Replacing them will cost more than £30 billion. Russia supported the doping of athletes during the 2014 Winter All Olympics in Sochi. Today. That's according to a report by the World Anti-Doping Agency. It wants Russian athletes banned from Rio this summer. Booed by the crowds, that was the reaction to the French Prime Minister at a memorial service for the victims of last week's attacks in Nice. The government's been accused of not doing enough to keep people safe. Aged 13 and 14, they kidnapped a toddler from a Primark store in Newcastle. Today, a judge sentenced the teenagers to three years and three months in a youth custody unit. Wash your salad, that's the warning from health officials. Their worried bags of leaves could be to blame for an E. coli outbreak that's killed two people and infected more than 150. Hello, I'm Annabelle Tiffin, the latest from the Northwest. He claimed he was the son of Satan and stabbed a stranger to death. Today, Robert Kay, who has schizophrenia, was jailed for life for killing Ian Dollery at his home in St Anne's in front of his wife and daughter. Boys starting school are further behind than girls in language skills, and it's worse in St Helens than anywhere else. This nursery is tackling the problem, but a report found the gap was also wide in Manchester and Blackburn. A dry, sunny and very hot day tomorrow with temperatures possibly reaching more than 30. The Beals and the Mitchells face a life-changing tragedy in EastEnders next on BBC One. Hi. Tonight on BBC One, Professor Brian Cox and the forces of nature at nine. Now it's a day the Beals and the Mitchells will never forget. It's EastEnders.